Last week, I introduced you to Mary Verity Fletcher, a woman born with spina bifida, who, despite her adversities, created Dancing Wheels, a dance company that features people with and without disabilities. We do master classes and workshops for people of all abilities, learning physically integrated dance, and partnering that our wheelchair dancers and our stand-up dancers partner together. The plan behind the dance was to take it to as many people as I could. I felt that what I was given was a gift. I wanted to convey that gift. The Dancing Wheels Company and School is one of the few places in the country where people with disabilities can dance. Most of the growth and development of the company and the school has come from uh, the desires and the needs of the community. So people would say, you know, is there a class that you can provide for my little girl? She's in a wheelchair. That's how we started the dance classes and the summer programs. One of our mottos is if you can believe it, you can do it. And so we really instill in our students to believe in themselves, to work hard, and if they do, they can achieve almost anything in life. Dancing has uh, made me more outgoing and like, you know, I do acting and stuff, so dancing has helped me with like auditions and stuff. It's a lot different than dancing at normal dance companies where you have all the same stand-up dancers, nobody has any type of disability that you have to work with. Mary wouldn't have been able to continue her work without the support of her husband Bob and an amazing decision he made. Due to my disability, I lost my first kidney when I was in high school and then the other one was failing and when I was performing, I would feel nothing. I mean, I felt great. And, but then I'd get off stage and I'd be sick. They had to remove the kidney and I was on dialysis. I didn't even know my husband went to test. Just seemed like you know, this was the thing I wanted to do. It was, you know, I love Mary. It, it really hurt me. It pained me to see what she had to go through. He came one day to the hospital and said that we were a match. Then the rest was history. We got wheeled into an operating room. <laughs> a month later, I was out dancing again. Like Mary, Jennifer was born with spina bifida. She's now a lead dancer at Dancing Wheels and began working with Mary when she was only four years old. Jenny was teeny tiny when I first met her and um, her mom brought her to uh, see if it was possible for her to take dance classes with us. She had such a natural movement ability. We've often looked upon her as a signature dancer. We had a chance to visit Jennifer in her new home where she lives with her brother Tim. Tim has absent radii, which means he was born without arms and suffers from a blood disorder. My brother and I have lived together for about three years now. It feels like ten. <laughs> <laughs> when I first started taking dance classes with Mary, she taught me a lot of things, what positions and how to do movements correctly. I really didn't know how to use a wheelchair like with the tricks that we do. You know, I think if Jenny was not in um, dancing well, she may not be as outgoing. I've seen her kind of grow up and become very secure with who she is. She's a dancer, not a wheelchair dancer. That's probably the most inspiring thing about her. I thought it was great that they had the speed that they did. I loved how they interacted with people that weren't in wheelchairs. The dream for the company and school is that it excel. Development of this training is to have it really be seen within the dance communities as a form of dance that has this legitimate structure to it. And universities will allow dancers with disabilities to be accredited. I say to anyone, whether they have a disability or not, whether it be physical or intellectual, the biggest disability is saying that I can't. I want you to see me. I want you to see me. Mary's perseverance is inspiring. I hope that she helped you see you can do anything you dream of. Nominate someone that's inspired you in your life.